good morning welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to my home if you are new thank you for stopping by i hope you'll subscribe uh it is free we are just a vlogging channel we just vlog here at the house on the ships when we travel we just vlog and there's a lot of animal antics that happens at home <laughs> anyway hi you guys how are you uh, i wanted to start off this vlog by saying thank you very much for all the information, advice, story sharing, life sharing that you guys did on my last home vlog. I can't, or the last vlog, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and appreciate you sharing. First of all, I feel better, <laughs> not physically. I don't mean it that way. I mean, emotionally feel better. It's nice to know that I'm not alone. I think the subject of menopause and women's health was taboo for the longest time. And now I feel like thanks to the internet and thanks to women fighting to normalize the subject to make it something that we should talk about, that we should share about, um, I think it has really helped a lot of women. You know, I think that sharing with other women experiences it brings comfort it brings it, it's supportive it brings comfort it helps it helps and it certainly helped me and so I hope if you read the comments last week I hope it helped you um, I hope maybe it gave you a little bit of I can't even think of the word I'm trying to come up with that helped you maybe realize you're not alone it's okay and uh, I need to get my thyroid checked <laughs> So, and I do, I really do. Uh, I am the only one currently in my family with, of people who have passed and people who are still living who does not have uh, thyroid, hypo or hyperthyroidism. And um, my aunt, my mother, I don't know about my uncle, but my aunt and my mother both had hypothyroidism and diabetes. And um, my father and my grandmother had them removed. It's very unusual for men, I think. I think, I'm not 100%, but I think that's the case. Anyway, um, so I definitely need to go get it checked. I checked it, had it checked, was it last year? I think it was last year. And I was on the low side of normal. And, um, you know, basically, I've just tried to use diet to really control it and make sure I'm okay, but I have noticed some symptoms that need to be addressed. And, and, and I think a lot of you are correct. It may be either just my thyroid or a combination of menopause and my thyroid. You guys have just been great and I really appreciate all the help and I appreciate all the information that you've given me. Uh, it was a lot to think about and I felt better knowing that I'm not alone in this. Not that I thought I was alone in this, but it was nice having some women to bounce things off of. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I appreciate you. So thank you. Anyway, um, that's H-E-B asking me if I need to add anything to my order. We have a grocery pickup today. Just a couple of things. Very small order. Um, so I needed onions. I needed some cheese. So I did get back in the kitchen this past week and a half. I've been on track for two solid weeks now. Today's Friday. I've been on track for two solid weeks. I'm down about six pounds or so. And, um, it's amazing what it does, but now I've hit that point. So what'll happen for me the next two weeks, my body will not get, lose any weight. It will not lose any weight. My body is at the point where it's doing this, um, cycle where it's transferring over into fat burning from carb burning. And, uh, you know, the first couple of weeks, what my body is doing is losing the inflammation, purging the inflammation, and then it starts to transition over into fat burning. So that's fine. And basically by the time it gets truly acclimated at the end of this month or about a month or so of that, we go on Vista and I'll have to start back over again when we get back home. So that's fine. Um, and I have started Retin-A again. Y'all, I have such a hard time with this agency formula. I used Retin-A for many years, um, 0 0.05 um, or 0 0.5, 0 0.05, one of them. And I never 
went up from there because every time I tried to go up, my skin would get so super dry and that has happened again. And I have been on the same, I think it's point, I don't know what the formula is, but when I started off, I was doing just fine with it. But now I can't use it every day. I can't even use it three times a week that my skin doesn't just go <laughs> and it gets so dry dry to the point that I got a sty here, which finally went away. And now I have one here and because the exfoliated skin, like the dry skin clogs my, I don't know. It's very annoying. So it could also be because my eyelashes fell out. Y'all know when I don't eat on plan, my eyelashes fall out. I don't know what that is, but they do. Um, and so that's been so irritating. I used eye masks today, but you guys, I am telling you, my skin feels tight. And I have put so much moisturizer on my skin. <laughs> it just feels tight. Um, anyway, but it'll be fine. I have been back in the kitchen. And yesterday, oh my goodness. So first of all, I make my bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches for breakfast. <laughs> I love. And if you want one, I don't. Do they still make a McGriddle? Does McDonald's still make that McGriddle that has the maple syrup in it? <laughs> I love that. Loved it. I had it like maybe once in my life, maybe twice, but I had to give up gluten. So, or maybe I've only had one I've made. I can't remember, but I love the sweet and salty. I love that that <laughs> my friend Elliot does not, but I love that <laughs> every time he says that just makes him disgusted i think oh you poor thing if you only knew <laughs> anyway but um i love that but this didn't have it in there i think i'm gonna make that tomorrow for breakfast is add either some maple syrup extract which i have or just um some of the chalk zero maple syrup i don't know but i love that but i've been having that for breakfast you know where i use the uh pork and good pork rind powder and baking powder and an egg and I make a bread with that in my waffle iron and then I just put a fried egg and some bacon and some cheese oh <laughs> it's so good um this morning I did have my normal yogurt for breakfast and um that was delicious and yesterday we made hamburgers and I made of course my bread that I just told you I made that but I made um hamburgers and I put umami powder in them from Trader Joe uh, onion powder, garlic powder, um, salt, pepper. Is there something else I put in there? I don't know. I may have put something else in there and mixed it all up. And I used my new, uh, hamburger contraptions, which are completely unnecessary and I don't need them. The presser that, that is necessary, but the circular thing, shaper thing, don't need that. The cookie scoop, put it down and use the press. Perfect. And I know that press is made to press while you're cooking it. I, I do know that, but I also wanted it to press the burger while we're um, forming it. I am going to try and make it in a pan at some point. I just haven't yet. I want to do that on my, uh, what is that thing called I used to camp with? The, the griddle thing I had when we would go get Blackstone. I want to do it with my Blackstone. I need a propane tank. Here at the house, everything's connected to our in, in the ground propane. Um, so I need to get a propane tank for my Blackstone. Anyway, um, it was so good. I put some mayonnaise and ketchup on there with that fried egg and the bacon. <laughs> I probably could have eaten two of those. It was so good. So yeah. Um, and in my grocery order today is some uh, cabbage because I want to make some more coleslaw. I made some coleslaw last week. It was really good. Um, and I just really enjoyed it. And I'd like to make some more this week. So I'll be doing that. I made a chicken salad last week with a rotisserie chicken. I still have that left. So I'm going to make a sandwich after I make the coleslaw. I'm going to make a sandwich with the rotisserie chicken salad that I had that I made. I put green goddess seasoning on it with some pickles in it. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so good. It's delicious. Anyway, I'm going to put that on the bread and then put some coleslaw on top. And then the top of the sandwich that is going to be either my lunch or my dinner today, or maybe I have to do it 
it'll be today. No, it'll be, yeah, today. And then tomorrow I'll have another hamburger again for dinner. Um, but uh, it's so good. <laughs> anyway, enough rambling about the kitchen. So uh, today what we're doing this is the weekend, it's Friday, and I have a huge list of things that I want to do. Um, today, I'm just gonna take you with me. I do need, I have a, a pickup at Target. Um, it's not a grocery, an order pickup at Target. Um, I picked up some bones for Buddy when we were there a couple of weeks ago, and he really likes them and they haven't upset his tummy. And he's whining for them, because he knows where I keep them, so he's going over and he's sitting in front of the cabinet and he's whining. He's asking for them, which is a good sign. Um, so I'm going to get him some more of those. That's in the grocery pickup. And Target had their tank tops. It was like $6.50 for a tank top. And um, so I wanna get that. And I, that's in the order as well. I got a navy blue one and I think a brown one. Um, and I am loving those tank tops. Also, Tammy's Ageless Beauty did a haul recently and she showed a tank dress from Target. I love Tammy. You guys, I love her. She's down to earth. She's funny. I just really, really enjoy her content and she's shaped like me. So I think she's taller than me, but she put on this tank dress and she sizes up like I do. Like she wears things that are, she doesn't like them clingy to her body. So when she does like a haul or something, I am all over it because she, she dresses like I, anyway, I really like her. So she found this tank dress from Target and I want to go and pick that up today if they have one in store. She said they're not online. I have searched left, right, every which way but Sunday. Is that it? <laughs> and it's not online. I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to go in store and find it. So yeah. And um, yeah, so there's that. And um, what else was there? What else are we going to do today? We do the grocery pickup. Then we're going to go to Target. Rob and I have to go to work for a little bit today. So we are taking Frank. Um, we need to put, um, we have to go to our office and anyway, I'm not going to bring you for that part, but that's, you don't want to see that's boring anyway. And then, um, we're going to come back home and I'll probably end the vlog there. And then this weekend, the things that I need to do, I probably am not going to vlog this. I need to clean out the pantry and clean out the fridge. Like I need to organize them, clean the, clean the fridge, you know, take everything out, wipe it down and put everything back in, in an organized fashion. I'm having trouble keeping my fridge organized and it is bothering me. I gotta figure that out. I've been looking at different things, but you know, places you look, these people aren't really realistic in their fridge organization. They're into the aesthetics of it. No, I'm into the usefulness of it, the organization of it where I can see things, everything stays neat and clean. I don't necessarily need it to look perfect. I need it to function more so than look. Anyway, so there's that. And then the pantry, uh, we're at that point again where I have gone through it and organized it, but the problem is our pantry, those drawers, it just, it's just not working. I need a different type of, I need a shelf pantry. And I just don't have the space for that. One day, if I can remodel, I will have that type of thing. But I don't have that, and I'm not going to have that. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, you're all caught up and oh and oh and I need to organize my cruise pantry my camera cut off and I lost my train of thought I'm sorry so the the refrigerator in the pantry those are things I need to clean this weekend I need to do a thorough house vacuum you know I vacuum all the time with either my Dyson or my little upright vacuum um, but when I want to do a deep clean I use my big vacuum I can't remember the name of it right now but I'll use that I really do not like that thing but it is extremely powerful and it works very well but I don't like the pool behind it I can't I, it's been crazy so I will never buy that again but this one's functioning and there's no reason to replace it it's working it does its job and in the meantime I can use the other vacuums instead of using that one every single time it's fine um I do need to clean out my cruise closet. I need to clean out my office in here and I need to reorganize this room. That sweet baby sleeping, look at him. So, ooh, yesterday we had some serious rain.
It continued to rain all day and last night we had a huge storm. It was brief, but it was loud and very windy and very heavy, heavy rain. Heavy rain. It was a lot. Anyway, and he was not happy. And Bruce, Bruce was so scared. We were holding him and he was absolutely terrified. And every time the thunder would crack, he would just... It scared him so much. I've never seen him like that. I felt so bad for him. You know, I, I tried to comfort him. Anyway, with sweet baby. And this little kitten was crying. So Chandler was in here. I was with Bruce. <laughs> the babies. Buddy did not care. Didn't care. Uh, little dog was scared, but he snuggled up with dad. So he was okay. But he's doing really well. We've made huge pri pro progress. Um, we're still trying to think of a name. We talked about Pip or Pip Squeak. It just that's not okay. We did, it's too hard to say. Oh, and I did pick this up from. Whoops. Oh dear. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I got this from Poshmark. I have wanted a Tory Burch tote bag forever. Um, this one was very inexpensive because it's been very well used and loved, but I didn't care. It's the coated canvas. Um, it's still pretty clean. I am going to get some cleaner and clean it up a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, stuff it with something and kind of hit it with the hairdryer to get this to kind of straighten up a little bit. And I'm going to get a bag organizer for it. I love this. Absolutely love it. And I'm very glad that I have it. And um, y'all know if it's got a stain right here but that's okay. I'm going to use this bag. So the fact that it's already got a stain or a bleach spot on it, I don't care. Anyway, um, I, y'all know all of my Tory Burch has come from used, uh, from, except for one, uh, used from uh, Poshmark. So, or thread up. So there you go. Oh, I sent a whole bunch of stuff over to thread up. I have um, if I, everything sells, it's like $478. I'm going to save up for a Louis Vuitton bag. That's the only way I'll ever get one. I'm not going to spend $1,600, $2,000. I'm not going to spend that on a bag. First of all, I can't. That's just not in my budget. But second of all, I think I would be afraid to touch it. So I'm going to get a very well-loved, used Louis Vuitton bag from ThreadUp. I say that. We'll see if it actually happens. I've never quite been able to pull the trigger, even if I find... A really good value of one. I like I've seen them on thread up for a couple hundred dollars. I just I can't do it. <laughs> and I'm not sure what kind of bag I want. If I want like a tote bag like this, like a the Neverfull, is that what it is? The medium size one. I'm not sure if that's what I want or if I want something that zips across the top. I really prefer that. So I don't know. We will see. We will see. Or maybe I'll buy some sort of fancy I don't know. Maybe I'll just use it and I close with it over time. <laughs> I don't know. Because after this summer, I'll be sending more over to thread up. So um, I sent them a total of like eight, four, two, three, four, five, seven bags, seven bags total, three of which have processed. And they've got the other, the others or working on them right now. Um, I sent all my Kate Spade bags. I've sent in some Tory Burch. I've sent in just a ton. Um, because I wanted to let it go. I didn't want it in my closet. I wasn't using it. Uh, all of my, uh, fossil bags, I sent in, uh, some coach. I sent in some coach bags. I just wasn't using it. And if I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to have it sit there. So I just would rather make a little profit off of it and be able to pick up some things from thread up as I want. So there you go. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I will see you. Oh, I'm going to go get my nails done today. They have grown. It's not going to focus. They have grown so, so much. They are so, so long. There you go. This one, the shellac all came off of it. So um, I'm going to go get them done today in clear. And then I, wait, I can change out polish as I want because this time of year I am pretty, I like to, this time of year I like to really change up my polish every week but I think if I have the shellac on it might stick a little bit better although the shellac doesn't stay on my nails so we will see we will see but look how long they are they're so long so I need to go get them cut okay enough chit chat I'll see you in the car
Okay, I'm back. I don't know how I feel about them. Um, yeah, so she did the pointy almond shape or whatever that is. Not quite the, what is it, coffin? I don't know what it's called. I have to get used to it. It, um, I don't know. I did have her go quite short. So maybe if they were longer, I might like, I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to see. But I had her, like I said, do clear. So if I want to put color on them, I can. So we'll see. Right now, I just like that they're done and they're clear and we're all finished. All right. We're going to head to HEB and uh, we'll see you there. So we're out driving around looking at a couple things before we go to Target. Remember how I told you we had a nasty storm last night? This is what that storm did. That is a home under construction. That isn't, it looks like something hit it, like right here. I don't know what happened, but. See, it looked, it should have been along this wall. It looks like it's been pushed in about six feet. Oh yeah, it does. Look, you see the foundation here and it's just, everything shifted that way. Wow. That is insane. I don't know what happened. Something, that is a bad storm. I told you we had a terrible storm. Yet this house, perfectly fine. I mean, that one, I don't know if the framing was knocked down. It kind of looks like it might have been. But I don't, I don't, if you look at the pile kind of to the right of the house, back to the right. But that's to go, goes to show you, I told you we had a horrific storm. It was bad. So, there you go. All right, here we go. Spreading out over here. I got Burlington and <laughs> the mothership. I do love me some Target. Oh, Easter things. I love growing kids. Okay. Let's see if we can't find that dress. This is a cute little skirt. Very cute. It was a very good card. Robert got me a very sweet card for my birthday. He always does. He's very good at card buying. All right. I don't know where the dress would be. So we're just gonna kind of walk through. Right here. No, this isn't it. I want the high neck one. Oh, well, maybe that's it. Yeah, that is it. That's it. No, this has the slit. Okay, the one she had did not have a slit, and that's what I liked about it. Let's see. Just have to keep looking. We'll find it. There are the tank tops. We're over in the bags. I did. I was here the other day and I picked up a bag. I thought I would show it to you. I just love the Kinder Scott stuff in here. I need to go buy Kinder Scott for my birthday present. I, li I like or birthday discount. I like that. That's pretty. Okay, so I like these little backpack bags. This one right here. Really pretty. This one's by Universal Thread. But what I picked up the other day, let's see if it's, oh no, it's sold, it's gone. I'll, uh, I'll link it for you down in the description box. I really like it. Here's a version of it. This is the blue denim version. And I went back and forth between this one and the black one. And uh, I got the black one, which looks really nice. There's also these. These are really pretty. I like these. It's a good one. It comes in multiple colors. Again, I'll leave it linked for you, but this is the Capri bag. I was They have a white one. I like it too. Look at that one. It's so pretty. It's like a, it's not like it is a straw material. So, and they also have like accessories for this that match. And then here's a big denim one. And then this, if you like a big bag. And then here's the pattern one. And then here it is in black. The squishy. It's very nice. These bags are really, really nice. I have to tell you. I like these too. 
I think I've looked at these before. I have no, no need for this. I just, I like to look at them. I think they're really pretty. All right, and then there's this one. Yeah, that one's smaller than the one I picked up. Really cute. I mean, that is, oh no, I guess that's about the same size as the one I picked up. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny, good for packing, good for going into port. Oh, here's my bag. This is what I bought. I absolutely love this. It is absolutely perfect. Love it. What'd you say? We learned our lesson. We did. We will always have an umbrella. <laughs> Look how cute this one is. So cute. Oh, that is adorable. Very nice. Good size. Not too big. Not heavy. How oh, cute. 30 bucks. Kind of expensive. Oh, here's the same one in white. <gasps> or a cream. Oh, so pretty. Look at this. Oh, little bitty. This is like a puffer coat. How funny. These in black. Oh, that's pretty. So many great bags this season from Target. Look at this one. Woven. Pretty. What? Is that what this song is? I can't hear it. Oh, that's funny. Nice canvas crossbody. Very nice. Oh, I love this one. For like the beach or going in a port. If it were blue, like a blue stripe, I would probably get it to take with us. I like it that much. <laughs> and there's some more bags. Okay, I just thought I'd show you some of the accessories here in Target. This is so pretty. Very pretty, Kinder Scott. Very, very pretty. Oh, I like this peachy coral color. It is. Perfect day. Perfect day. I like these. There's one that's open. No, I want one that has a necklace spot that folds like that. The little matching rings. So pretty. Look how delicate those are. I love that. Yeah. So nice. And then here's these again, but this one is in the turquoise. There's the gold one I already showed you. It's filigree on the back and then I really like those. Matching earrings. Really pretty. Really. Oh, look at that. What? So pretty. I like this too. I just showed you this one. Kind of out of shape. Are they supposed to be like? No, I didn't think so. That's probably how that happened. And it's little. Hang on. It's small, so it would fit my wrist. I'm gonna have to go to Kinder's Cup. That's forty dollars, so it would be twenty for my birthday. And then I could get the matching necklace uh, with Robert's discount. Oh, I like the blue one better. That one better. Look at those earrings matching it. I prefer these to match it. It's so pretty. Let's see. Oh, look at the rainbow one. I like that. I like that one the best. Wish they had that in the bracelet. But they have a white one. Yeah. So, okay. And then more, these also really like these. Those are some of the ones I really like too. Oh, so many pretty things. Get it? It's so pretty. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, it's the birthstone collection. Really like it. Very pretty. 
Okay. All right, I think that's enough. Besides the makeup, we went through the makeup the last time we were here. I have this in my shower, a different scent. I really like this stuff. It came in that uh, beauty subscription box. Let's see. I wanted to smell it. I actually really like it. I'm gonna have to smell the different scents. But, so, all right, I'm gonna peek around, hang on. I picked the wrong target for pickup. <laughs> so, it's the one, anyway. So, we're gonna go do some work stuff and then on the way home we'll pick that up. I have been completely in love with these, these Zevias. This is the grape soda flavor. I got the Coke or the cola flavor. I didn't care for that one too much, but this one, if you are a grape soda fan, which I have been since I was a kid, of grape soda, this is good. <laughs> There's the new one over there, and there we go, the new one over here. I'm gonna wash all their water fountains today. We did pick this up for the kitten. Um, we're getting all the other cat smells in it, and then we're gonna put him in it and then different spots around the house. But you can see the litter that gathers in there. I need to find a tray that works in there. Uh, I have found a couple, but I'm, I'm gonna keep looking. And I've lined everything with uh, contact paper to keep any kind of, you know, kitty accidents from damaging the wood too quickly or paperboard. This is not wood. This is like that fiberboard stuff. There's our extra supplies. There's Mr. Brucey. These are what actually fits in there, and it I guess it's designed to grab the litter. They love to scratch these, as you can see. So I left them out, and they absolutely love them, and uh, they'll tear them to pieces on this side, and then we'll flip it, so we'll get a good three or four months out of them. There's more. And then here is this one over here. Again, water is getting washed today, but you can really see. Yes, we put those on backwards. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we didn't even think about it. <laughs> we did it on all of them. Anyway, so, but the litter boxes are in these cabinets. There's now four in this room, which is nice. This is going. This will be centered on this wall. This is going to go someplace else. I'm not sure where yet. I'm not sure where yet, but it's not going to leave the house. I really like it. Um, I wish I had um, a couple more. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I really like them. And I also have the, the taller cabinets. And once um, we get the kitchen done, whenever that'll be, these will actually turn into like Lego cabinets somewhere. Anyway, I don't know where. I don't have enough room in my house. Seriously. So um, there's that one. So it's all fine. This room belongs to the cats. This This is their room. There's boxes, there's tunnels, there's toys, there's it's just, it's everywhere all the time. There's their donut. Um, so this room is a constant source of needing to be vacuumed, constant mess. <laughs> so that's all gonna be cleaned up. I just stacked everything up there. That's Grayson's prescription medication and little dog's food. And then there's more food in here and more of my cameras and tech. It just needs to all be cleaned out. So there you go. You see Grayson is in there. They love this little house. They love it. Um, I may get another one just, just so they have it. They, they absolutely love it. So, and, um, today I'm cleaning, uh, Robert is working for a little bit, but he's very sore. I just washed all the couch covers, but we had a lazy night last night. So the couch is a mess. So I need to clean it up, tidy it up. I have to tidy up the kitchen and I picked up a few things in the Amazon spring sale. Look, I'm a mess, but I'm gonna show you my face. Hang on. Mess. Um, I picked up a few things in the Amazon spring sale that maybe I'll unbox with you for next time. I, I will leave them linked for you down in the description box. I don't think they're on sale anymore. I think the sale is over, but, um, and uh, it was just things we kind of needed that I replaced. There was really nothing major. And then I picked up a couple of kitten toys. Um, for him and I will insert some video here from the video camera that we watch him on when we're not in the room or overnight or if we just need to check on him when we're away or whatever. Um, you can see him playing, he absolutely loves it. And then we got him this one this morning. He's just learning to play with it. He's just learning to figure it out, but he's having a good time with it. He really enjoys it. Mommy will get it, mommy will get it. And uh, yeah, let me put you here. 
I did order a couple of tank tops from Target when they were $6. Uh, I will leave a link for you. They're back up to $8. I mean, it's not really that big of a savings, but they're really cute. It's the black one with the white stripes. If you see that the white accent, really get that one. I have been searching for a deep red, not burgundy, actually a red tank top. Target had them. Every time it comes back into stock, it sells out like that because everybody apparently is looking for a red tank top. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's enough. Uh, I'm a mess. I'm leaving you a mess and that's okay. I'm about to fix my breakfast. I'm going to have a breakfast sandwich again because I can't seem to get enough of them. So it'll be a fried egg and bacon with a slice of H-E-B's American cheese and two buns that I make um, with my uh, waffle iron, you know, the porking good egg and baking powder. That's it, little sprinkle of salt. That's it, and this time I may put a little maple extract in it to give it that uh, that McDonald's breakfast sandwich taste. I'm gonna edit this vlog, and this week I am going to be working on the Virgin Voyages vlog. We did. A, I cleaned out my pantry, I cleaned out the refrigerator this weekend, I've tidied up a lot of the stuff in my kitchen. I need to go through my keto cabinet, I need to go through my spices again, I need to clean out my appliance cabinet over there, and um, I also need to clean out my cruise closet. Um, my closet's clean. The, the crew's closet's the one that needs to be done. Um, so yeah, so slowly but surely we're getting through the house. And once everything on the inside is gone through, we're going to empty out the garage. Um, we're going to clean it out and empty it out. We do that once a year anyway, sometimes twice a year. Um, it's not that bad this time, really. I mean, because I've just been cleaning out and cleaning out and cleaning out. So there you go. Um, let's see, what else did I get? Told you I sent a whole bunch of stuff out to thread up. Yeah, so that's it. So in the next vlog, I'll show you the cruise closet. And uh, yeah, I don't know when the next home vlog will be. will be. I'm trying to get them more consistent, but I do have a lot of work to do this week and a lot of uh, videos for the cruising portion of my channel. So, oh, last thing, and then I promise I'm not, I don't like my nails. I don't like the pointy. I like the round. I don't like the pointed round. So I'm going to let them grow out a little bit. And then next time when I go and have them done, probably just before Vista, I'm going to have her round them, but not this. I don't like the pointed. These are very pointy. I like this. This is more round, whereas this is very pointy. <laughs> Whatever, you don't care. Excuse my nails being dirty. I have been cleaning and working. I had to clean my Dyson. It was just absolutely jam-packed with all sorts of cat who knows what. So I just ordered some new filters for it. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me this week. Uh, just a little bit of everything this week. Um, you know, got out of the house for a little bit and there you go. All right. I sincerely appreciate you. I sincerely appreciate all of your input on, um, menopause and hot flashes and I sympathize with all of you out there and thank you to those of you who sent me suggestions on products and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. I'm still working on researching some of it and I have put in a call to my doctor on a couple of different things just to make sure I'm safe because you guys know I have so many food allergies and intolerances and who knows what. So thank you so much. We will see you next time and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.